Alright everybody, we're back here with the thing that I like to do, and that's my player. So, let's continue on here. So my guy's like a 80 overall, I believe. I think he is, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think he is. <laughs> Alright, let's go try to get a win for these guys. That last one was close, I believe, to the Wizards. Then we had that scuffle at practice. <clears throat> get nice out. Get a lot warmer. I, I, I was telling everybody. My birthday is on March 31st. Well, I live in the on the eastern coast, so yeah. That that my birthday made it nice out. Yeah. <laughs> and, we see the and my guy celebrates for it. The Hawks continue their journey as they play an oh, yeah. matchup in this road game. Well, what better way to spend a Monday night than the with same the dance every time. Oh, oh god. Welcome everyone. With Steve Kerr and Clark Hello. This is Kevin Hart. We've got a chance now for our starting lineups from point guard to center. This game should be a good one. And a guy's checking out Tony Parker here. What can we expect? Well, his finishing ability is what jumps out at me, guys. Cursed phone. How dare you interrupt me. All right. <sighs> Jenkins with it. They double him with Green. Corver passes to Money. To the paint. Ah, oh, dang it! Bad pass. Crap! No! Oh. That is up to the basketball at its best. So much easier to operate in the open court when the steal triggers the break. That really does allow your offense to flow better when you can get out and run and get easy opportunities. Then everybody gains confidence. Here's money. He's covered by Point. the shots good for money. And if you hadn't heard about it, there, there was a report going around that he got into it with some of the vets on the team. A, a hard foul in practice. Kind of yeah, stupid Elton Brain. And from what I heard, it was a, a bit of retaliation, possibly. I don't know if he didn't like it. Oh, Joe, you're shaking his head. I think, I think he knows more than yeah. he's letting on. Oh, I blocked it. Awesome. So far with practical I realized I blocked it. <laughs> had enough, uh, but doing this has caused... It looks like at least some tension on this team. A moment to check in with Doris Burke. Doris? Yes, guys. Mike Budenholzer had some words for his team. He said to his guys, we need to make things Oh, oh I can't believe I missed better. that. Hands up, challenging shots, preventing any kind of open looks. No! Leonard, again. But dang you, Leonard. And thanks for that story, Doris. Well, Kawhi Leonard is a do-it-all type of player. I mean, defense, rebounding. His role on the Spurs hasn't been that of a big-time scorer. But he is efficient scoring the basketball. He's just the kind of player. Bad pass? <laughs> I thought he was going to shoot it. Lock at six. Scott kicks to Jenkins. From about 19 feet. Nice. Scott, good. And the Hawks lead by one. That's how to orchestrate for your teammate. Terrific pass. San Antonio's gone two or three from deep so far in this game. And for the Spurs, a team with plenty of scoring. You know, do you think Kawhi Leonard, as we kind of circle him here, could become a big-time scorer in the NBA? I don't know because it's a much different deal to right. play off of other people or being the center of attention yourself. And right now, Leonard is in a, a terrific position playing off of Parker and Duncan and James. Yes. The shot's good for money. Boy, beautiful assist. That's a couple of teammates clearly on the same page. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Ah, ah, ah. The bucket's good. He'll go to the line. Bellinelli, he's checked in for Leonard. San Antonio shooting their third free throw shot of the game. 23 seconds left in the first. Here's Matt, covered by Mills. Oh man. One pass there. Now here's Damn. Jenkins. He kicks to Scott. The feed to Corver. With the shot. 
Ah. This is uh, no good on his first attempt of the night. It's the end of the first with a tie game here. And already these offenses, Clark are clicking. And the second quarter tied up with the Spurs. Yes. Good team. Be tied up with in the first quarter. All right. Tune in Wednesday. Okay, here we go. The Atlanta Hawks come into this one following a loss to the Wizards. Yeah, I thought their defense in that game was about as shaky as it could be. At home, you know, that kind of defense isn't going to cut it, never mind if you're on the road. They really look tired to me, and I don't know if they had travel issues or if uh, they were out too late. God dang it. Something was amiss because they had no energy. They've got Nando Decola. Also, Corey Joseph out there. Oh, they missed. Jackie out there with Aaron Bain. God dang it. Antonio Fox. You gotta put bodies on the glass right there. They, they just are not getting it done on the board. Yeah, they've got to do a much better job of going harder than that to the glass. The jump hook. Yes. Is good. And it's six points for money. Not enough defense there to throw him off his shot. Sometimes it, it takes more than one defender uh, on him down low. Well, I tell you what, Greg Popovich, a really impressive leader for the Spurs. He's able to keep all of his players locked into what's best for the team. Come out. Military background, oh. played basketball and studied at the Air Force Academy before serving five years in the Air Force. And you know the ah. leadership that he brings to his position was learned from his past experiences. T kicks to Carroll. There's the screen. And lots of oh, wow. back there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. And Clark, you mentioned Pop's time at the Air Force Academy. That's where he got his start in the coaching room. Nice shot. Six years as an assistant there. He's head coach at Pomona. He's assistant coach with uh, Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. To the front office in San Antonio, but wow, what an amazing run it's been for him. 17 years as the head coach of the school. Joseph dishes to Leonard. Dial the pass to Green. Good. Oh, wow. With the assist that time. Green's got five points so far. Okay. Passes to Money. Oh, no. No. Oh, no. Uh, uh. Thank you. And the Spurs lead by two. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle steps for the Spurs. And they come out in attack mode defensively, applying pressure and stealing the ball repeatedly. They've gotten their fair share of points off turnovers so far tonight, too. Yes. And it to go. And it's eight points for Upgrading my post moves. Awesome. Well, it was the San Antonio Spurs in their last game, a loss to the Rockets. Their offense really... No, he went right around me. God dang it. Points became very hard to come by. And see, you know, their play wasn't terrible. It wasn't too bad, but this game still is about making shots, and the shot making wasn't there. Carroll passes to Money. It's Scott on the wing. Here's Money. He's guarded by Dean. And another shot. Money's got it all. Right, do that the whole game and make every one of them. <laughs> Joseph, T covering. Leonard off the pick from Diaw. Ah. Gets it to go. Leonard's got the lead. Back up to two now for the Spurs. And that's ten straight points in the paint. And defensively, ah. the win no is take. knocked out of their sails. Need to get more bodies committed down low. T kicks to Scott. Pass to Money. Oh, wow. Down to five on the shot clock. T dishes to Martin. Ah! Uh, dang it. Oh! Oh! My ball! Here's money. Ah! Uh, <laughs> what the freak? The yeah, they've been aggressive, and that's really important. You've got to continue to attack. Ah! Uh, the seventh and eighth free throw attempts for the game right here. So for the Hawks. Brand comes in for Scott. God and dang it. Corver in for Damari Carroll. I didn't expect that result when he stepped up there. I'll bet he didn't either. As good a foul shooter as he is. Leonard, the pass to Mills. 
back to Leonard. And oh, I didn't even get the rebound. <laughs> Spurs lead by two. Thanks, Kevin. Coach Popovich is strong. Now presented by All right. Sprint. See? If we'll be in the lead in the second half. With the duel going on out in San Antonio. The Sprint Halftime Report. Presented by Sprint. And as we get back to San Antonio, we take a look at the impressive... Are we going to be in the lead? Uh, yes, we are. Yes. Here is Cunningham. He's got seven. Pass to Millsap. He's at the pick. There's the pass to Money. The jump hook. Point. Gets it to go. Money's got 12 points in the game. Boy, the D has to show a little more fight on the interior than they did on that trip. They've got a battle inside. Well, this game has been tough. Come on, Tim Duncan. They're getting after it. Oh! Starting to run a Dang. little bit low on energy, possibly. On the court right now for the Hawks. Money, he's in a power forward. Shelvin Mack is out there with Cunningham. Then there's Paul Millsap, and it's Horford in center. Let's go to our sideline reporter, Doris Burke. Doris. Nice! Well, guys, Money in the last outing against the Washington Wizards got down to business. He had 20 points, and the basket seemed pretty big to him. He didn't miss a whole lot all night. He was just too much to handle as he came off the bench to turn in a great outing, guys. They hope it continues. And thank you, Doris. Ah, oh, wow. That has to have their upcoming opponents terrified, Clark. Well, I know this opponent should be terrified because there's a good chance the momentum he gathered that night carries right over. Come on, get that rebound. Well, some of it will carry. Ah. Oh. It's inevitable. It's just a matter of how much. Parker outside. He dishes it to Bellinelli. Come on, Tony Parker, baby. Feeds it to Diaw. Ah! This is good. Now, just a three-point Atlanta lead. The Hawks have gone 7 of 15 from the field here in the third quarter. The Hawks made the playoffs again, but ended up losing in the first round to the Pacers in six games. Dropped the first two in Indiana, won the next two in Atlanta, but it all ended when the Pacers... Nice them shot. Six. I love it yeah. when a player like this shakes off a poor first half and comes back strong like he has, showing a lot of confidence in his game. Parker with it. Now guarded by Oh, Lane. God and dang it. Good. Parker. Parker's got 20. Oh, why did you pass to me? <laughs> I thought I was freaking flopping around. Left as a free agent to Brooklyn. But Steve, they have yet to get past the second round in any of those playoff runs. I think that's why they decided to part ways with Josh Smith uh, and, and originally with Joe Johnson uh, two seasons ago just to, to make that next step, to start fresh. And they may take a dip here, uh, but I think that... Yes! Going to steal a bag. Why they back off from Max Combo crap? Jenkins, the pass to money. 121. Oh. Off target with the close range fadeaway. Spurs trail by four. Here's De Colo. God with dang it. Touch off the glass. De Colo's got his first points of the night. Well, I tell you what, I need to see some more assertiveness out of these defenders. They're not getting the job done. Yeah, that's 10 of the last 12 points they've allowed on good looks right at the rim. Money passes to court. Not nice. They're going back to the three-point shot over and over and over. That was the ninth straight point from behind the arc. Clark. It feels like they're finding the holes in this defense. Put me on board, Dio. The breakdowns are starting to show up now. Their last four buckets allowed have come from very close range. And giving up these easy chances is going to do wonders for their confidence. This is the kill. He feeds it to Corver. Ah, kick. kick the ball. Oh, I kicked it. God dang it. That's part of what great defenders do. They get not only in your path, but in your head a little bit, too. Eldon Brands checked in for the Hawks. Five seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Makes it out to Leonard. Ah. Solid on the one hand throw down there. You know, 
Clark, when it's a tight ball game like this, he's the guy they want with the ball. Yep. Yeah, you got, you got that right, Kevin. He's such a reliable finisher. The three from Corver on nice the shot. Atlanta. Boy, they've come out of halftime just smoking hot from behind the arc. Hey, trust me on this one, partner. They are going to continue to let them fly. There we go. Well, it's been an exciting game. Plenty of offense as we head to the fourth quarter. Watch on. Coming up this Friday. How about a look at today's State Farm assist of the game? Yeah, let's do it. I, I love the way this play developed. We took what looked like a difficult. We may have the lead, but it into an easy get the win. Okay. Atlanta leading by four. Green is up there with Duncan. Then there's Janope. Then there's Boris Diaw, and it's Mills in at the point guard position. Get that. And that's who's in the game for the Spurs. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. All right, yeah. Brian, you better make these. The rim like that. That's your only option. There you, you go. Foul him and free throws are better than a layup. Well, Elton Brand is a former number one overall pick back in 99, guys. And, and ah. despite that, is one of the most underrated star players from his days with the L.A. Clippers. Now he's starting to slow down. He's on the other side of that career mountain. If you Why you no get on Ginobili? Don't expect to get opportunities that easy coming down the stretch of a tight game. T kicks to Corbin. They set the pick off the screen. Yep. Nice. And the Hawks lead by five. Defense just has to fight over the top of those screens. Especially when the ball is in his hands. I mean, he doesn't miss too many open shots. Right at the free throw line. Rebound by Money. And Brand always has played bigger than his 6'8 height with those long arms of his. Yeah, and an underrated defender, Kevin. Offensively, he's a consistent mid-range jump shooter. He can score around the basket. Uh, but he guards oh, nice. the pretty well. And it's out of bounds to the Spurs as San Antonio retains possession. And the Hawks making a change here. Horford's checked in. A few possessions into the fourth quarter, just over a minute played. There goes Boris Diaw again. Nicely done. They just continue to dominate inside. That's ten points in a row in the lane. It's now purely here it comes. See if you can stop it. Here's money covered by Duncan. And it's going to be a three-second call. God freaking thing. Coming out for the Hawks. They host the Clippers after this game. That'll be the first of four played at home for them. Paul Millsaps checked in for Kyle Corbin. Parker kicks to Bellinelli. There's the dish to dunk. And fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. Do not make that these ten dunking. You know what I love? There you go, bud. Early in his career, he was so dominant on the block at both ends of the floor. And as his career has gone on and he's taken on a little bit lesser role with the Spurs. It's never bothered him. He's just accepted uh, whatever role Greg Popovich asked of him. And now he's still a there we go. good player. But the Spurs have become more of a, of a perimeter type team, and that's just fine with him. Spurs trail by four. Ginobili kicks to Diaw. Ginobili with a screen on Horford. Spurs passing it over. Ah! Uh, it to go. It's not the way for a team to get back into a game by giving up easy shots like that. It has to start at the defensive end. Steve, you're talking about Tim Duncan. Exciting nice. a changing role as time goes on. And, you know, what can be a challenge, you think, Clark, for a guy like that when he has to grow into different positions over the course of his career? Well, for Tim Duncan, I don't think it was hard at all because it's all about winning for him. It's not about the numbers as long as he contributes to winning. And that makes him happy, so... He adjusted, but okay. it wasn't a big deal for him. Running him off the pick from Horford. Jumper off the screen. Gets nice. The and the foul. Tim Duncan picks one up. They can't afford to give him that kind of look. Well, it came off a good screen, but still, as a defender, you got to fight over the top of that. The Spurs last year were as tough as always in San Antonio. Hard not to beat when you win 50 games every season. Ended up with a 5 6 record at home, which was good for the third best in the league. That's some grit and determination in the post. Essential qualities to have late in a close game. Exactly. I and mean, this is the time to attack on the interior and generate those easy opportunities. Here's money covered by Duncan. 
Millsap kicks the tee. Another nice. And with the Spurs, they are just so consistent. Every time they take the court, you always need to expect them to get a win when they play in this building. And the two teams with better home records in the NBA were the Nuggets and the Heat. Both of them huge win streaks. But as you said, it's the Spurs' consistency every time out uh, that lets them pile up these home wins without anyone really thinking much about it. Takes it to Horford. And there's the feed to Cunningham. Is it the Millsap? Shot clock at six. And the nice. Another basket right there. Boy, the deeper we get into this game, the more offense we're seeing. And that goes for both teams, Steve. Everybody firing on all cylinders right now. Ginobili dishes to Parker. Dial the pass to Parker. Duncan outside. Inside. Fades. And a big. God dang it, Ginobili. Sinks right in. Eight points for Mono Ginobili. T gets to Millsap. Back to T. Outside Millsap. Nice shot. And the Hawks lead by six. He shot the ball exceptionally well as they built this lead for themselves here. Parker dishes to Ginobili. Holy crap. Pass to Duncan. Ah. The layup for two. Duncan's got five points now in the quarter. This has been a different kind of game here in the second half. I thought both clubs a little slow in the first. No question, but they're really going at it now. And he's able to get it back. Here's money covered by Duncan. Second chance shot. God dang, I can't make it. Boy, that's a shocking miss. That's one of his favorite spots on the floor, and the defense was nowhere to be found. Ginobili. Ah. Uh. it in. Now just a two-point Atlanta lead. That's the third bucket in a row from the paint. This defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle much more effective. Yeah, and until they do, the problems inside are only going to get worse. A moment to check in with Doris Burke. Doris? Hi, guys. I had a chance to find out what Mike Budenholzer was discussing. My, uh, uh, get that. He told his Dang team it. to keep looking for three-point opportunities, saying their perimeter defense isn't doing a good job getting out on our shooters. So let's keep firing away until they decide to guard us. To tie it up. That. Ah. Uh. Duncan's got the game tied up here for the Spurs. You know, of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is major smash mouth. Nice. Oh, Laying right on my head. Old school. Just physical play in the paint. Dominating. He's starting to heat up from outside. That's his second this half. San Antonio with the ball. And Parker, here we go. He and low to Duncan. And so he earns a trip to the ah. officials all the contact and he'll shoot too. And you know where you'll see Miss. the majority of his work is in the rebound back. It's a Miss. God dang it, Tim Duncan. And something else he has is an array of moves in the paint. You can make a training video for young players to figure out how to play down low in terms of how he gets it done inside. Here's money covered by Duncan. Teague, the pass to Money. Ah, man. Leonard's got 13 rebounds in the game. Cedar. And let's get this update now from Doris Burke, who's across the road. Ah. Hi, guys. I had a chance to find out what Mike Budenholzer was discussing with his guys. The ball has to be fed into the low post much more than it has been to this point. That was his message. He said, they're giving us room down low. Let's take advantage of it. There was one other thing he talked to them about. He told them to move with purpose on the perimeter, use screens, and find those open outside shots. Gentlemen, some late game adjustments that There we go. Fuck, oh, finally made it. Kevin, over to you. Thank you, Doris. I think Clark and Steve, we can expect a dramatic end to this one. Well, eight lead changes would have you thinking that would be the case. Yeah, both teams really competing. Neither side giving any ground. This should be a fun finish. I agree with you, Joe. God dang it, Tim Duncan. Now 
Here's Money, covered by Duncan. Cunningham kicks to Millsap. Outside team, five on the clock. The Hawks need to get no! It's stolen by Duncan. And now they decide to foul intentionally. Ah. And that will put them up by two. Can't knock it down, and they really needed that one. Atlanta's gone two or three in the fourth. Come on, come on, come on. So far. Leonard against Bill Sam. He kicks it to Cunningham. Come on, make this. Yes. And he came off that screen. The defense just couldn't get over the top. Beautiful play. Yep, and without a hand in his face, he's going to bury those. Here's Parker. It's in. No! 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 God dang it! <laughs> Come on! Yes! Ah, uh, yeah! Yes! 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 <laughs> this team kept their emotions in check and got it done. And now let's catch up with Doris Burke, who's standing by on the sideline. Doris? Well, I'm here with Paul Millsap. And Paul, you really delivered tonight to help the team. What goes into a game like tonight where you put up such a tremendous stat line? Man, forget the line, man. I'm just glad we came out here. We played our hearts out. Um, it's a good team we played tonight, but we stuck with it and we fought it out and won the game. Great job by you, Paul. Guys, over to you. All right, Doris, thank you. And for Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Woo. this is Kevin Hart. Came down to the wire, definitely. NBA on 2K Sports. Now our Jordan player of the game, Jeff T. Ah, uh, good, good stuff. Uh, home later that week. Hey man, before we go to the gym, I got something I want to discuss with you. Cool, bro. You know I'm always willing to listen. All right, man. Well, you know you've been in the NBA for a while now, and uh, the game's starting to pick up. So I want to talk to you about what you can expect in the future. The future? What do you mean, man? Well, you know you may not want to play here forever. Yeah, I don't know. I guess we'll see. All right. Well, you know as you get more comfortable with the team and you get to know the GM a bit more. You're going to get an opportunity to request a trade. So, as your agent, it's my job to make the calls behind the scenes, you know, and see how willing other teams are to make a deal for you. Yeah, you talked to me about all that stuff before. Yeah, and you may be able to gauge the GM a bit, you know, but at a certain point, there's no going back once you ask for a trade. So that's why I want to give you all the information I can, as up-to-date as possible, because I want you to make the right decisions at the right time. I appreciate that. Hey, and don't forget, all right, you know, once you uh, go too far talking to the media or you push the team, rub them the wrong way, they may just move you without any warning or input. Yeah, man, I'll be careful. Uh, what else you got for me? Uh, just one more thing, man. You know, while we're here, I thought I'd let you know what I'm trying to do for you in terms of endorsements. Oh, yeah? Nice. Yo, honestly, I'm down for whatever you can get. Yeah, well, it just may be these uh, small little local deals for now. You know, but as your name gets more recognizable, we'll, we'll get you with the big names, you know. But basically, I am doing everything I can to get you on everyone's radar. Cool, man. So, what's up? You already talking about this guy? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nike, Jordan, Gatorade, Sprite, they all know who you are, man. So, all you got to do is just keep it up, man. Just keep their attention and keep raising your game just like you have been. That's awesome, bro. Yo, I think you're out there working hard for me, huh? Boy. You know what, man? It's just a matter of time, man. It's coming. That's what I'm talking about. I'm hungry, you hungry? Yeah, man. No, no, I'm not hungry. We're going to the gym. Let's go. All right. Pretty much going to go for it. Yeah, stay on the Hawks for now. I think good to me.
All right, awesome. Oh, what's the challenge? Good luck trying to rack the blocks up against us the next game. Get two. All right. 